Praise God, my dear friends. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful morning and a beautiful day God has given to you and I will rejoice and be glad in it. My dear friends, we are in the month of uh, October and the theme has been separation. And my dear friends, I'm talking about new wine skins. New wine skins. There has to come a time when we desire something new and something wonderful from the Lord. I read from Luke 5, 36. It says, no one tears a piece of cloth from a new garment and uses it to patch on an old garment. For then the new garment will be ruined and the new patch wouldn't even match the old garment. And no one puts new wine in old wineskins for the new wine will burst the wineskins, spilling the wine and ruining the skins. This is a very important text because it brings to mind that there has to be a time when you ask God for something new. There has to be a time when you tell God, I don't want to attach new thinking, new ways of doing things into old things. It's good to look and ask yourself, am I stuck in a in a cycle? Am I stuck in a system? Am I stuck in doing things that are of old? Things that are no longer profitable to me? Am I stuck in old grace? Am I stuck in old anointing? Am I stuck? Maybe it's time that I truly separate myself from the old and step into the new. There are things in our lives that, my dear friends, we need to let go of completely. And there are things, my dear friends, in our lives, yes, they're important to transition, but there are things that, my dear friends, are either uh, create an injury as we try to transition. What am I telling you this morning? I'm saying that don't try to apply the new thing God is doing in your life to old things. If God is pulling you out of something, if God is pulling you out of someone, if God is pulling you out of somewhere, then it's important to ask the Lord, what do I need to take from here that will be applicable where I'm stepping into? What do I need to transition with God? What do I need in my transition? What do I need in my next level? What do I need in my next assignment? There are things we drag into our new assignments that are not required by the Lord. Today I pray for grace that you may be able to grow into a new space, grow into a new level, grow into new understanding, grow in a way that changes you and in that growth my dear friends is to be bold enough to say I am willing to let go of the old wine skin I am willing for the Lord to do something new in my life I am willing to mature and change and grow and become in a new environment that is my prayer for you this morning let us pray I thank you Father and I bless you for the gift of life your spirit, your goodness, your love, your power, your kindness, your grace and your anointing I pray, Father, that in the name of Jesus, may your power overflow over your sons and daughters. May we see your grace superabound. May you see your power superabound. And give us the grace, Father, to get into the place of new wineskins. May we be new wineskins. May you pour new wine into us, new ideas, new relationships, new grace, new anointing, new favor. We need something new from you, Father. Overflow it in us for the glory of your name. How I thank you, Father, and I bless you. In Jesus' name, thanksgiving. Amen. My dear friends, do stay blessed. See you again next time. Same time.